Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the third part of the series where I'm showing all my stuff from FCD School of Design, my school year in Singapore where I learned how to do concept art and it was really cool and really fun. And I'm gonna say the same thing as I said in the other videos. One, if you haven't seen the first part and the second part, I would recommend going and see that. And um, there's three terms to this school. It's a year and this is the third term. So you wanna see the other stuff first. Second, uh, you don't have to go to an expensive school to do concept art. Um, you can just learn at home. As long as you work hard, um, you'll get better, like I promise you. For me, it was just I like that push um, to get better. Like this year, everyone did, they pushed me to do perspective because I didn't do that before at all. I hated it. Uh, and then now I love it, so who knew? And that school kind of helped me do that and other stuff as well. So I like it. But you don't have to, that's what I was saying. <laughs> so this is term three and uh, we in the other terms we had like four classes but in third term you only had three and then the rest of the time that was usually the other class was you used to do your own project which would be your final project. Uh, and we did a few final projects well, you did one mock final project and one final final project and I'm going to show you guys pretty much everything in this classes because this is where I started to get interested. First term was just like learn how to do everything. <laughs> Second term was a lot of um, this is your job, do this. And the third term is a lot of come up with your own stuff, um, which is very, very interesting. So three classes, entertainment design, production design and production painting. I wasn't sure what I was saying there for a second. Entertainment design, we'll start there. Okay, so we're not going to do entertainment design first because there's, that's where my final project project is and I feel uh, that that's better, la um, <laughs> better for the last part. Um, and I think production design is probably the best one to go with first. And I don't know if these ones are as well separate. Oh, they may, they may not be, yeah. So um, production design pretty much had a lot of different types of project. Um, they just threw a lot of different design ideas for you and you had to do it. I think even some of them had um, like a time limit, you had to finish it during the class, uh, which was fun. And then you got extra homework anyway, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> um, so the first week with this class, we designed three different huts, two different um, like, yeah, huts or buildings. So I created, um, you got Jack and the, what, what? I don't can't remember what we got, but I got, I created Jack and the Curious Giant Rabbits. So you have to do a curious hut in a curious location, so that's what I did. Uh, this is a hut in the swamp. Um, I had a lot of fun ideas actually, Jack and the Curious Giant Rabbits is actually something I should revisit. It's pretty much a rabbit who likes uh, collecting um, trash or like different human items because he finds them really really interesting and then he meets the boy and it's a whole thing but I don't draw that part I just draw the rabbit <laughs> then you have the what do you have that oh my Mac doesn't like it then you have another location which is on the beach uh, but then the most interesting one is in the trash pile and I really like this one <laughs> Um, of course, the finishing uh, throughout this whole course, whole year, and um, they're also always telling me that my finishing needed to be better. Um, I'm pretty quick and just like just do it really quickly, and I don't really care about how finished it looked, and that was a problem to some degree. Um, next week, this is like every week, Jesus. This one was uh, you have to finish it during the class, I think. So, uh, it was a three-step thing, so you had first, second, and third, so like before, yeah, no, normal, right before the accident, and then after the accident, and you had to figure out how the accident happened and stuff. So it's pretty more, much a hacker living in a hut, and then she got hacked, <laughs> or she got a virus, and then it was a rebellion group thing. And then uh, it explodes and this is the aftermath and you kind of have to figure out where everything would go if the explosion were there and stuff like that. So you see the screens and her, she was saved by the mattress um, that was on the ground there. And the fridge is just destroyed in the corner. <laughs> and I think, yeah, I think I did a, yeah, how it worked. So this is like, this is what happened. 
and then this exploded and this is how she saved herself pretty much that was one class that was one day i believe week three was a minotaur labyrinth thing um oh i love the characters in this one it's one of my favorite characters oh chris and yoshi <laughs> So you have a lot of OCs, I just don't use them. I like these two. These two are cute. I can I can revisit this. I don't mind. And the Minotaur. Those they had to get in somehow. And this was I this really boring kind of way, but the Minotaur was really fun to withdraw. So oh there's another page. I didn't see it. This is what's inside and you have Charles, which is a drunken uh Centaur. That's what it's called. Yeah, <laughs> nothing more to say there. Uh, bug world, this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, you have to create a world of bugs. Like if you didn't have mammals, what would like, and you have bugs instead, how would the world look? And use of transport and stuff. So this was the first one where I designed a purebred insect. So like a beagle or like a hunting dog. I wanted to do fox hunting because it was interesting to me. Um, I don't celebrate fox hunting, I'm just saying it was interesting, so I did a few different bug animals that would kind of work as um, different breeds of dog. And the first one was a greyhound based one, so it's a grey wasp. <laughs> the second one is a basipillar, it's a basset dog. And the third one is a beagle, Be beagle, 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 yes, beagle tea. So it's a, it's a beetle and it's a beagle. <laughs> I'm so creative, wow. And you got like, you had to use that banner and everything, so New Earth it was called. And let's see what happens in week two. That? Oh yeah, I think, I, yeah, I took that last one because I liked that one a lot. And I did like a comparison, that's Beagle and that's the, the Beagle tea. And that's how it works, I can grab insects with your front paws and it has like a light to signal when it's found something instead of barking. And then, um... A color and then the next week we did the fox so what they're hunting this one's really cute so I did them different types of foxes so the main fox and the main dragon it doesn't really look well I guess it's tall I think that was what I wanted to do and then you had the fennec moth like a fennec fox but a fennec moth and then a praying fox the praying mantis? Does not really look like a praying mantis? I don't know. Uh, and then I of course went for the fennec moth because it was really pretty and you could use it for a lot of stuff and that's why it would be desirable to hunt. And I thought it would be cool and it's really heavy like a bumblebee because it's very cute. <laughs> and then there is the steed, what they ride on. So you have to do three different animals. And I did a Shire Caliphra. Like, I think it's because, is it, is it a, um, grasshopper, grasshopper, there we go, grasshopper, mixed with a shire horse, because I love shire horses, so I have to do this, it's very heavy on the front part. Then you have the ackle wasp, like an ackle, uh, horse, a call? I can't tell you, but it's a horse and a wasp in there. And then the wilder beetle, like a wilder beast, but it's a beetle, but that was too close to the other one, I already did beetle, so ended up going with the Shire and I created a saddle and everything which we will show it yeah that's the saddle it's just a normal saddle actually but I figured out where it would sit it would sit up on the neck because there's nowhere else to sit it would be too much motion and that's the female no it's the male and that's the female so they use mostly the females for hunting because they're the prettiest and instead of whinnying, they have this, you know how cicadas make noise? I researched that and figured out how, how they do that and I put it in the, the, ab, the abdomen? Did you say, is it? Dial volume? Abdomen, yes. And how it eats and everything. I, I really like this project, actually. <laughs> it is very interesting. And then uh, you did a little... The note. And you did a few illustrations, so I only did one for this week, but if they're running after the, the fennec moth and they're jumping over. I think I fixed this one actually for the last, last, um, I think so. Yeah, 
I fixed it so it, it worked better with the colors that I wanted to use. This is more of a muddy, muddy color, so the jumping over to riding the horse. I actually did the jumping and the people from my head. I don't think I used a lot of reference for that, which is very surprising actually. And all the Bassets. Basset Basset how? No, it's the Beagle Tees. <laughs> and then in the stables, because um, they had to wax them to keep them shiny and pretty. And I thought that would be fun. <laughs> and they're like looking at each other and saying hi, like horses and dogs do. So that was a really fun little project that we had in this class. And this is in addition to all the other stuff we did then. Those 14 weeks. Um, and then we had a side... Oh, I don't really like this one, but we'll show it anyway, because it's interesting, I guess. We had to do a side-scroller game, which is pretty much like Mario is a side-scroller game. Um, so I did... You do a fast, a healer, and and a heavy, like, heavyweight one. Jesus, I have... Everywhere. So I did want to do like a kind of like... Um, tiny people, kind of plant-based. And they have to fight off the oil. And it was called Danger Dash. That's what we couldn't choose that. That was what the, 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 the project was called. So everyone did Danger Dash. Um, this is the design board. Very fun. Oh, process. Well, look at that. Side scroller 2. This is the final sheets for the characters. So I actually put it into textures and stuff, which surprises me. And like different moves that they have. Flying slice, soar, pierce, and dash. Button up is additional uh, uh, defense. Yes. And then you had Freya. Oh, I'd, why did I put an ice on her? She looks better without the ice. Ven Venus flytrap, hit, bounce, block. And then that's how the Venus flytrap works. I thought that was pretty funny. Running shoes, additional speed, because she would like that. She would she would need that to be able to function as a character. And she has a chip back on her, yes. Danny, oh I added a shell on him. I see. Lance shell. And he can like spew uh fire and stuff. <laughs> don't don't ask me. I it wasn't it was it was a mess most of the time. Side scroller two, so well, that was that was that one, and I think you had one where you did the enemy. This is the enemies, different oil. Did I finish that? Yeah, I did. Okay, oil, uh, creature, magic things. I actually like the grunt one. It's so quite cool. And the boss are like animals infected, and they have to rescue them. They're not allowed to kill them. They have to rescue them. the other ones. You can kill them. <laughs> Um, the what's that? Oh, the week twelve was like the site, like the actual where. Oh, lava up, flower up, and wind up. I don't remember making this. So you could get the point where you like get them to a god level kind of stage. That's cool. I forgot that. <laughs> and this is the side scroller. There we go. So she has to like fight off the the oil and jump and get different things and collect trash and fight off the grunts and the different things. Yes, makes sense. I am actually well, actually this is not too bad. I'm I'm not gonna complain about this one. If anyone wants to make this game, message me. <laughs> I'll be happy to sell you the idea. <laughs> What was that? Production design, production painting, or production painting? Oh yeah, just a lot of different painting. Oh yeah, we did. I did that one. Okay, so value painting. Yeah, you can only paint in black and white because you have to figure out how to do it. And there's this little robot in this really forest. I actually did it in color and then just turned black and white. Don't tell anyone. And I do we give color to it later? Oh, okay, man-made value. So something that's man-made, not just like something with moods. So these are two different moods. You have the camping outside, and then you have a lone din diner. Oh, <laughs> um, 
I was also listening to a book, so I made the Pyrebolt prints in, which is really interesting. And how the set would work, actually, where the lighting was, that was a part of the task. Figure that out. Oh, yes. That's a painting in this class. Night and day, same shot but different light. Oh, I remember hating this. So we did, uh, I did spring and snow, I think. Mm-hmm. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Did I? Did we color that ever? I feel like I colored it at some point. Boring. Treehouse. This is some some of these are like not figured out properly. Properly. Lights. Oh, this one's cute. So you took a reference picture, and then you have to change the lighting, um, to practice lights. So for me, the first one was sunny. The second one was overcast, like this different overcast there and there. And then the third one was dusk. I actually like this. I'm not. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Hmm. Cool. That was just a practice for that. And then I did high in Orland because this was me gearing up to my final project. And uh, this is different spring autumn. And I know it's called Norland. Uh, if you haven't read How So Many Ways. It is actually called Hyde Norland, and I'm Norland, so... <laughs> wow, coincidence that I love that project, I love that book. So you did a different that. Then I rendered up my rooms from the second term, because I wanted to. And I quite like those still. I think I've used them before in something else. Uh, Thumbelina and Cat was like a new little project that I wanted to do, and I actually did. They love this one. <laughs> This actually got me a job as well. <laughs> Borrowing milk. Uh, Thumbelina, like a new, like, twist in Thumbelina, pretty much. Like, she's not this helpless girl, she's this warrior, and that's the cat, and she's stealing milk from Fluffy, and that's not a good idea. I'm sorry, I'm still sniffling. <laughs> and then I did another Thumbelina one. I did two other Thumbelina ones this week, so. Because I told the teacher, oh, it only took me half the time I thought it would take, and he's like, then you can do two, and I'm like, shit. I should have told him that. Uh, so this is them having lunch. And them running away from giant mole rat with uh, a lot of rings, because he collects ring, and, and she has to get the ring back to the rightful owner. Mm -hmm. I didn't do any more of these. Oh, this is one of my... The worst ones. I couldn't finish it. I just I it took too much over my head, and I just it was a real big fail. And the teacher was like, "Oh, this is not real good, you know? What happened here?" And I was like, "Yeah, I know. I couldn't. I had to sleep. I was sick, and well, no, it's not that bad." <laughs> I remember it as being worse, but he was like, "It's not finished." I'm like, "Yeah, I know." So it's based on my uh, the, my entrance portfolio for getting into school was crown. That girl. And this is a tea house, and I wanted to redesign that, and I tried to paint it, but I wasn't good enough to paint it, and I skipped a lot of steps, as I know now. So, um, I think you can see the original design and everything on the previous page, maybe? Yeah. So that was the original drawing. <laughs> so ugly, I couldn't under- the Can you see how small the rooms are? And how big the steps are? <laughs> they don't work! So yeah, that was week 11. I was failing separately horribly at that. And then we have entertainment design, which is the final class, which is like the big thing. But um, you got we had two projects for this four weeks, I think. And the first project was just like a warm-up to do the big one. Um, just to do some, not just do one final project, the whole thing, but actually do something different. So the first one is Windhaven. Oh god, what's the book called? It's actually a book that I was reading and I thought it was really cool and I can't remember. I'll put it here because I'll find it later and I don't want to do that right now. But it's based on a book as well and 
Oh, there's a lot of designs, wasn't it? So I did a lot of design sketches for the main character to kind of get like an idea of who she was. Um, and like this is a human civilization that's moved to a different planet and they're making a civilization. It's really interesting if you want to read it. They, their main transportation between all the small islands is flying. Um, and that was the big design thing. Isn't it? I can't remember what the story is called. Is it called Windhaven? It might have actually be called Windhaven. I think maybe. I want to read that book again. And this is the antagonist, the, the mean guy. He's called Korm. Well, I made him the mean, mean guy for this, this part because I couldn't do the whole book. Um, so I really advise you to go read it because <laughs> it's really good. And then uh, Cole, which is uh, Moshe, what's the name? Korm? Mars. The main girl and call is her brother or like brother from another mother or something. I don't think you can use that word in, in that phrase in that thing. Okay, cool. I made him like a musician. Oh, there's more. And then oh, I cleaned them up as well. Jesus, this was a big week. So I cleaned them up to kind of the, my favorite ones. They're very messy. I can see now. Very rushed. And this is the main guy. The brother, which is like a side character. Cool! And then next week I colored it. Pretty sure I did different color variations um, to figure out what would work best for the character. I used different birds for inspirations because she flies and that's her passion. So I, I did that. And then I did that for the other ones as well, my favorite ones. And then I put them up here. But yeah, my favorite ones for the selections. Oh, I remember doing these. <laughs> and I painted one of them. I painted Mari Marius up to the standard that I wanted. Which to me now is very rough, but I still like her face. I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> I'm sick, okay, I'm sorry. And then I did the final drawings for all of them, like back view, front view, painted, uh, expressions and some other details and what she keeps in her pocket. And council member expressions and call expressions. Yeah. Then I designed the wings, which is a big challenge because they apparently snap into it. Um, so they have a lot of. Sorry if the camera angles changed. My computer, no, my camera stopped recording. And I didn't notice. So <laughs> what I was saying was that the metal kind of snap. Well, it's built up out of metal from a spaceship, and um, they kind of landed on the spaceship. And it's really the material is really rare, so not a lot of people have wings, which is called. Um, so it's kind of passed down to generation to generation. And Mari doesn't. Maris doesn't really have a claim to the wings because she's not in blood or whatever. And Carl is in the blood relation, um, so he would uh, inherit them, but he wants to be a musician instead. So that's kind of the main story here. So the wings need to snap into their full spread <laughs> position. So I studied a lot of birds to kind of figure out how to make them, and and I figured out how to make. The wings so that it would be the least material possible you have different like junk snap things around <laughs> the whole thing and then if you pull there or snapped out there i think you no, know, you can snap out quickly but you can't snap and down you have to do that separately which was a big good thing to know because that was <laughs> made a bit easier but much she can just do that and that should work and um, that's at least what i figured out i don't know if it's absolutely correct but in my fantasy world, it works. And uh, I just like when things are functional. So it was very important to me that it worked. And I think I did it this time, like a picture of her flying. Oh, this is different wing designs. So for Maris and Korm, the two people who flew. I don't think there was originally a design for these, but for me, I wanted them to match. <laughs> Like, they weren't supposed to be for specific people, it was just... Ooh! 
it's the final drawing. Oh, I can do much better now. <laughs> so they pretty much use the wind to kind of um, soar, pretty much. And that's how they work. Yay! A lot of descriptions here. They actually use this for the for stuff later, like for promotion for the school. And I was like, no, why? <laughs> and I did a map. Oh, this is the print version. Wait. It's so big. There we go. Here's the map of Windhaven, where they live. Lesser Amberley is where they live. The world is called Windhaven. The map is called. Uh, the island of theirs is called Lesser Amberley because it's small. And you can see like a big map here. I think this is from the book. So I, I figured out the, the basic shape. And some ships and stuff. But they're sea monsters, so they can't really use ships for everything. It takes a while. So the final, I did some extra stuff, I think. Yeah, this is the landsman. Oh, I like him. I always remember that I like that. Grilled sea cat, and that's like a tapestry of the history, which is really interesting to do. Seagull, sea cat, the great Skyla, which is like a sea monster. And I kind of based him off dinosaurs, because it's cool. I think uh, that is it. What was, was I supposed to do scenes? Oh yeah, I just skipped this completely because I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to do that. Then it comes the start of House Moving Castle, or House of Many Ways. It is the third book in the House Moving Castle series, that's why I keep saying the other one. And this is the whole process of making that whole series. So this is my plan for I had seven weeks to do this project and art direction, what I liked, I didn't follow it very well, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't have time to follow it very directly. Um, the world and inspiration, objective, story, IP, story and selling point and all of that stuff. I didn't do mood boards in the end, I think. This is some character, main character exploration. I love looking at these, it makes me happy. Like expression, like exploration. It just makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, thumbnails, exploration of what I wanted to do. I had to skip some of them, I think, because um, I just didn't have the time. You only have seven weeks to do all this stuff, so. Plus the other stuff I've showed you from the other classes. So that makes it a lot. So this is the main character, this was the final. Like I it was second week I wanted to have the final characters. So um, this is Chairman. You should watch you should read the book if you haven't. It's really good. I love it. I've read it so many times. And this is Peter. <laughs> I don't like his this is they're a bit wonky. They're not exactly to model. Uh, this is Wave, which is the dog. It's a magic dog, so it does little different things. And they can go really big and really small. And it's really fun. And that was the print. Yes, okay. You have to adjust the print to, to print it. You always have to print it every week, so. House and support characters. So these are like side characters. So you have Aunt Sympronia, Royal Wizard Norland, and Mrs. Baker. <laughs> I love the Royal Wizard Norland, so it's not my favorite. I'm in I'm in relation with well, not relationship, but I is my relation like I'm in this family because I'm Norland and this Norland. The elves and kobolds and the Lubbock. The Lubbock. You have to read the book. I won't spoil it. This is the house. The magical house has a high dangers. I can't speak anymore. And it is like a rundown little cottage and it's magic. That was that week. Kitchen, this is one of my favorite ones. I spent all my time doing the kitchen. And uh, this is where a lot of the story happens. And this is, I still use this for my portfolio because I absolutely love it still. And I have all these details with all this stuff happening on the table because it's just a mess. But I love it. And then I did a scene with all the, 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 the three main characters in, in, in the book this is a scene. 
Makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, so I did that for the that week. Uh, is the workshop? I don't think I used a lot of these. Can't remember actually putting this anywhere. But because I, I didn't color it, that's why. So this is a cobalt's workshop. Why didn't I color it? I should have colored it. <laughs> I don't think I put it up on my final wall either. It's a week wasted. This is the Rollo in a bag workshop from my range of flowers. Yeah. So this is another seat. Um, I think I was sick that week and that's why I couldn't do it properly. Then there's a map. Because I wanted to do a map. Uh, of where everything is happening. Lots of houses. <laughs> and this is the first scene where she's in her white frilly bedroom in the city. And she has to go to her uncle which is the, the cabin looking thing. And then last week I just did a lot of illustrations, I think. These are not colored. Why are the colored versions? Okay, so here's the final project. Uh, that's the hut. That's the main character. That's the main guy. Uh, that's Wave. I'll then show you all these. I'm just gonna go quickly. Then you have... Um, this is where she originally lived in the city. It's like a bakery. It's her bedroom. This is her way to Uncle Mom's. And uh, this is him in the door, and she's like, what? And um, this is the elves taking him away. This is the magic. This is some more magic. This is uh, the house of many ways, so of course there's some crazy doors and stairs and a lot of ways to go. This is them walking through them perfectly, like not like this, but actually walking through them. And this is them in the Lubbock on the Cobalt's workshop. And this is the Lubbock on the hill. Oh, I could have done this better, but I don't think I had a lot of time to do them. That's the kitchen. That's the characters. That's the characters. Oh, yeah, that was it. That was all of them. Yay! I... So I don't think I can show you the my old portfolio before I went to the school and um, my new portfolio because it would be really long and this video is always re already really really long so I hope you guys liked seeing all of my work pretty much from my year in Singapore that was just one year <laughs> I haven't drawn that much since then because that was crazy you only slept like five hours a night so don't recommend that uh, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this three-part series and I hope you guys will subscribe to see more of my art and everything and I love you guys and I will see you guys next week bye bye I also just want to say thank you to all my Patreons for being awesome and supporting me. If you want a shout out at the end of my video, please go check out my Patreon link. There's a lot of different cool rewards that you can get. So thank you guys so, so much.